any teacher who dares to say such an absurd thing. Every person is unique, talented, and creative. Everyone can learn how to draw, and everyone should have drawing skills. Drawing is one of the ways to communicate and express your thoughts and ideas. Having good drawing skills is as necessary and essential as having good verbal abilities. But you were not born with language skills. You had to learn the language you use today. It took months and years for you to learn it. Your parents didn't give up on you saying, Oh, you only know five words. It's pointless to continue talking to you. Learning language is a lifelong process. You are still learning new words as they are invented. The same applies to learning drawing skills. It takes time and practice. You need to have good teachers and solid examples of how to draw. So what is the best way to learn to draw? There are right and wrong ways. I will explain. If your idea of good drawing skills is to be able to draw whatever you see, think, or imagine, then drawing from photos will not get you what you want. Photographs will teach you how to copy, not how to draw. For the same reason, in the Drawing Academy course, I encourage art students not to draw copies of the art lessons. Instead, you can watch the How to Draw videos to gain knowledge of drawing techniques and methods, proportions, perspective, human anatomy, and other essential skills. Then, apply that new knowledge to drawing from models, nature, and life. Another wrong method of learning drawing is to start with advanced topics. Skipping the essentials is a mistake. I have seen many art students come to life drawing classes in London and struggle from the very first minute. Drawing a live model requires knowledge of how to use drawing materials, human figure proportions, measuring techniques, constructive drawing methods, etc. A student should not expect to draw a good figurative work of art without ever having drawn a simple cube in perspective. Unfortunately, there is one more wrong way of learning art applying for the wrong contemporary art college. It is heartbreaking to see that the quality of education in general and of art education in particular is declining. There are so many art colleges where students are taught how to be creative instead of developing good art fundamentals. One student wrote to me saying, I am a student who chose the wrong school to study under. I went in with little knowledge to no skill in drawing or painting. I will leave the same way, but I will have a degree that says I can put rubbish together and call it art. Don't expect an instructor at an art college to show you by example how to make a drawing from beginning to end in front of your eyes. The best you could hope for in college is to get some advice here and there. Such art education can waste four years of your life and cost more than $100,000. Now. Let's discuss the right way to learn how to draw. I have combined them into seven groups. Number one, you must have good teachers, not just any art teachers either, but teachers who are professional fine artists and can draw skillfully. In the Drawing Academy, you will benefit from the extensive technical knowledge and creative experience of two professional fine artists, Vladimir London and Natalie Ricci. Together, we have spent more than 20 years studying art and more than 47 years creating it. We teach drawing by our own examples. In the Drawing Academy video lessons, you will see the complete process of creating works of art, starting from a blank piece of paper to the end product. You will receive a full explanation of how to draw and what techniques and methods to use. As a Drawing Academy student, you will enjoy unlimited personal support from Academy Tutors. We are ready to help you with any art-related questions you may have, advise you on your creative development, and give you professional feedback on your artwork and ways to improve your drawing skills. This personal support extends even beyond the three-month course period. Number two, your drawing education should progress in a methodical manner from basic to advanced levels. This is how the Drawing Academy course is designed. You will start with essential information on drawing materials and how to use them, such as how to hold and use a pencil the correct way. You will progress from drawing simple geometrical objects 
to complex organic shapes, from the theory of proportions and perspective to human anatomy for artists. You will then learn the necessary information on how to draw portraits and human figures. Eventually, you will acquire all the fundamental information that will enable you to draw whatever you want. Number three, you need to learn how to rely on your drawing skills, not on tools. There are many so-called art teachers who advocate certain drawing tools and equipment. You might have heard of the five pencil drawing method, use of a builder's line, grayscale values, or some other drawing aids. In the Drawing Academy, we want you to develop your drawing skills. Such skills are inside you, not in your toolbox. As Michelangelo Buonarroti said, it is necessary to keep one's compass in one's eyes and not in the hand, for the hands execute, but the eye judges. We want you not to be handicapped by reliance on certain drawing equipment. You should be free 